right, if you guys look, I'm standing right in the main foyer of the abandoned mausoleum during the day. Uh, it's raining out today, so it's a little dreary. If you look, you can see that I'm right here in this main foyer. Uh, when you walk straight ahead, guys, you walk, first walk into this place, this is what you see. You walk straight ahead, you see this coffin sitting here on the floor. And then you walk around it here, and you can see that there are more flowers, uh, more people buried here. Again, there were over 500 plus remains left in this building. If you look above it, it says, erected to the honor and glory of God. Okay, and then if you look, guys, over here to the right, uh, there used to be some urns in here. If you look, there's Frida Simon, February 4th, 1931, and there's Emma Simon, April 20th, 1950. And if you guys look, here it is in front of me, the beautiful stained glass. I'm so glad nobody's destroyed this, if you look. That looks like, uh, I'm not sure if that's Jesus, but it looks like Jesus. If you look down here on the bottom, it says he is risen. And over here, you can see uh, the disciples. And if you guys look, uh, you can see, you can just see the beautiful detail in their faces. I mean, this is incredible that this, that this sits here in an abandoned building and that someday this might be destroyed. <coughs> If you guys look, you can see he is risen. Look at the detail on those flowers, the cross, and even over here on this angel, or if this is supposed to be Jesus, right there. See it, guys. Incredible. All right, I'm going to go back this way here. You can see this coffin still sitting here. I'm going to try to fix my headlamp a little bit. Um, you guys look, it says here on the coffin, um, not all these have remains in them. This one here says the remains in this casket removed and cremated in accordance with Rhode Island law, 1021-2015. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna go to the right-hand side. You can see um, the paper, uh, the plastic that the Department of Health put down is still here. Um, it looks like there's a statue of, I don't know what this was, it looks like it fell off the thing here. I don't think anybody did that one on purpose. If you look straight in front of me, you can see a thing that they used to move caskets, broken windows. You go into the left alcove over here, you can see there's an old ladder up in there. There's a casket. You see the roof is leaking. Part of reason why this place is condemned. On the left side here, there's really not much to see. Um, just some little keepsake things, or mem little uh, religious artifacts that people left in here um, for their families. All right, guys, I'm gonna go back over toward the front door uh, where we came in. You look up guys you can see right there uh, there is a light in the main foyer right here you guys can see this casket just sitting here all right guys so when you come in and you go to the left you can see it's very, really leaking in here. Um, if you look right there, there's another plant or something. Another window. This window is intact here. All right, guys, I'm going to head up to the second floor now. Guys, okay, look, here's the staircase. We're heading up to the second floor. It's much warmer, has another, it has a different smell up here. Uh, when you first come up here, guys, you look to the left. This is what you see, the coffins on the floor, the fireplace. 
you look to the right, you see the entire family that was in here. Um, I'm gonna go over here and check out the entire family. The air is real heavy up here, guys. It's a completely different feel than being downstairs. It's much warmer up here. The smell is really, it's worse. Guys, look, here's the fireplace. I'm really trying to do a much better job today, guys. I hope you appreciate it. You can see the decay on the ceiling. If you guys look, there's just caskets laying on the floor here. On this corner over here, um, there's a casket right in front of me. And this is the one where there used to be remains. Um, it looks like they were removed. There's a piece of the casket in this room here. And it looks like there was, at one point, an entire family in this room. All right, I'm gonna go to the back of the second floor now. Um, see what else I can find. All right, guys, right now I'm on the upper level uh, of the, I'm up near the balcony. If you look, you can probably see a little bit better today. Uh, the coffin, when you first walk in, is right there. There's a light right there in the middle, and there's like this little walkway around the outside here. And if you look down, there's the coffin and the stained glass right in front of me. I know even during the day in this situation, it's still a little hard to see, but hopefully you guys are getting a better look. Uh, there's the upstairs right there. It takes you to the third floor. I'm gonna go up there in a minute. Um, if you look, I didn't get this in my nighttime explore, but this here is the way into the back area. It's really, really wet down here, and it's really uh, dripping. If you guys take a look, uh, here's the name of a family, Sergeant Follett, and you can look right here. You can see this is one room. If you look, the roof is starting to buckle right there. Uh, over here, we have another family, a Miller family, Kennedy and Miller, right here. All right, guys, if you look, you can, you can see how bad the roof is decayed right here. It is like literally the pipes and the lighting are caving in. Okay. Um, uh, if you guys look right here, you can see that the, uh, the roof is literally like starting to cave in. The lights and stuff are starting to decay. Yeah. What? All right, show me. All right, guys, if you look over here, um, this is this area with all these coffins. If you guys look, this is this is just disgraceful. There's somebody's there's somebody's remains right there on the ground. I didn't notice. They didn't notice this before, but if you guys look, you can see the remains right there. Yeah, if you guys look right here, I had to go back over. Uh, my buddy Jared found me the, this over here. When we were in here at night, we couldn't see this, but if you look right here, uh, this coffin, this is disgraceful. This coffin right here with the inside given out. If you guys look, the, the remains are right there. That is just disgraceful. I can't believe this. I'm just showing you. All right, guys, yeah, this is really bad over in here. Uh, I was just telling people not to go in here because this side is like the roof is like caving in. I'll show you in one second. If you guys look in other people's videos, this here is the room where uh, straight ahead you walked in, there was a cross right where my light is, but obviously it looks like it's gone now. 
And if you look, the statues that were here are gone. Somebody moved the, there was one like of Jesus here. The other one is right there, it's broken, I think. Sad that they, somebody had to do this. Yeah, but this side of the building over here, guys, I would not go over here, it's not very safe at all. I'll show you the roof buckling. Right here guys if you look you can see the whole roof is starting to like bend in if you come here if anybody comes here do not come to this side right here stay away there's really not much to see over here anyway all right guys i'm gonna go up to the third floor okay. yep it's okay all right guys i'm going up to the third floor here this is the third floor of the abandoned mausoleum Yeah. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, I got him. That is disgraceful. Oh. Oh yeah. yeah I see it. Yeah. You guys, look there. Uh, here is the old cash register that sits up here in the chair. You can see it right here. The old paper has fallen off of it. Sorry, I was gonna take a picture of the cash register, guys. I just wanted to get a picture of it. take a look again we're in the, up on the third floor now in the daytime you can see they're either preparing this to have uh, more crypts in here or whatever um, or they're using it as storage space um, you guys look there's a lot of old paperwork over here this looks like an old picture album but there's no pictures in it right there um, I'm going to head back over where the old documents were if you guys look here this says uh, the uh, American Brass Company, April 4th, 1927, Oakland Mausoleum. It said uh, price per pound, four cents. Wow, it's crazy. Over here we have a, um, this was from a uh, burial park in uh, Salem, Virginia, uh, November 4th, uh, November 24th, 1930. We have an old bottle here, one gallon. If you look here, receipts, uh, Oakland Cemetery, Broad Street, it has Mr. Collins' name on it, uh, $15, okay. Uh, right here we have uh, Powers Highway Catalog and Directory. Let's take a look at this. This was from uh, 1931, Classified Directory of Manufacturers right here. Interesting, 1931. I guess it's a list of businesses that did like asphalt and uh, oil companies, I guess all the companies in the area. Very interesting. Uh, if you guys look here, there's also some more paperwork from the Oakland Cemetery. You can see it, there's piles of file folders right here next to me. There's more furniture up here. Um, here's Hughes Lighting, $15, October 4th, doesn't give the date. Uh, here are some receipt books it looks like. Uh, here are some business cards. It says TF Colin and improved truck bodies. I don't know. That's interesting. Uh, it's all more, a lot more paperwork back here. Um, here's some handwritten paperwork. What chair creamery? Uh, this is a weird one. Uh, looks like. Uh, Twenty-three thousand six thirty-nine fifty-six. Some more paperwork over here, guys. 
take a look. Process Corporation greeting cards, 1932, June 10th, 1926. Ledger. This is all marble. What? Just the old, uh, old seat, old bench. Nothing wrong. Yep, there's a ladder there. All right, I'm gonna head back down. Careful, Emma. I see it. Yeah, Campbell's soup, chicken soup. That's an old box for sure. It looks, it looks old. I can't believe they even leave all this behind, all this paperwork. This is why, like, when the news comes in here, I can't believe they can't figure out, like, they can't figure out, like, who's in here. There's another fireplace here, guys, in the wood stove fireplace right here. Yeah. yeah. Coming. There's what? Tow truck? All right, well, they better not be towing my car. I'm just kidding. They're probably not. We're, we're, we're almost done. We're almost done anyway, guys. Where's the tow truck? No, we just start beeping. Beep. Oh, so oh okay. yeah, don't worry about it then. You guys worry about it too much. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yep. So what do you guys think? Creepy, yeah. 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 I see it, yeah. Yep. Jordan, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Bottle. 